Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I'm with Kimberly, and uh, uh, I want to minister today to ten people. So uh, every single day we prophesy to ten people. If you would like to receive ministry, please write your name in the comments, and then every day I'll just go through the previous few videos, see w what names are in the comments, and I'll minister the very next day to those uh, people. Also, if there's more than 10 names, then I'm going to choose names of people that don't come on that often. Also, on Mondays, we got a live prophetic ministry around about 6 o'clock South African time. And then we have on Fridays also a live prophetic ministry also around about 6 o'clock South African time. And for those, we have a team and then they, we don't just prophesy to 10. We probably prophesy to between 30 and 50 people. Mm -hmm. So it's bigger groups. So they also have a bigger team that we minister in. All right, so that's the announcement. So we're gonna, I'm going to start and minister today to Cheryl. All right. So Cheryl, I don't think I've seen your name before uh, in the comments uh, when, you when you ask for ministry. So uh, I just want to say you're welcome to more than once put your name in. Uh, I believe it's good for people to receive a, a few prophetic words until they sure this is where God wants me to go and what He wants me to do. But then once you are going, then I think it's good to get about a prophetic word once a month or so. Okay, so Cheryl, the Lord shows me uh, the strangers uh, in the second, near the, the first uh, war. Uh, and what those soldiers were doing, they were hiding in those trenches. And uh, uh, that's in essence a place for them where they could be safe and then they would at the right times go out from the trenches and they would shoot with their guns. And what I felt the Lord was saying to me is how you were in hiding and you were in that trench and you were just like, please, I, I just can't handle all this war and all this attacks of the enemy uh, on my life. But then I saw how the Lord came. He put his blood over you. He washed you clean. He put you in his protection, in his covering. And then he said to you, Cheryl, you don't have to remain in hiding anymore. I'm taking you out of that hole, out of that place where you feel unsafe. And I'm putting you into a new environment where it's open, where you can grow and you can flourish. And so then the Lord showed me a flower. And as the flower received water uh, and the flower received sunshine, then the flower started to open up. And I felt the Lord is going to give you the water of his word and he's going to shine his glory and his presence on your life and that's going to help you to open up god bless you cheryl amen cheryl please leave us comments thanks for this for vincent the lord shows me how how he says you can't flip a coin with with your life the lord says i want you to choose and i want you to choose life the lord shows me how how you how you how you went and you flipped this coin and and it and you just went on a whim with a big decision in the and the Lord says that you can put your faith in Him. You can put your trust in Him because His Word is true. His Word is just. And the Lord shows me how He is going to reveal things to you. If you open your heart to Him and, and you make yourself available to receive from the Lord. The Lord says, my son, I have held, I am withholding nothing from you. I want you to, I'm holding it out in front of you. And I want you to take the first step to come in and 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 grab it and receive it because this is such a new vision that the Lord has for your life. Be blessed. Amen. Yes. No. All right. So Vincent, what the Lord shows me is three arrows and how you between this time of 2025 and 2026, how you take uh, the arrows and you shoot them. Uh, of course, it's 2024 now, but I saw as you go into 2025, you shoot arrows and then in 2026, you shoot arrows again. And I felt the arrows had to do with business strategies that God gives to you. It has to do with family. And it also, the third one, let me just see that third one. Oh, the third one was exercise. Yeah, physical exercise. I don't know if you, someone that goes to the gym or run or do biking or something, but I see how you do physical exercise and the Lord gives you goals and how you shoot those arrows and you follow the strategies of God and how you have massive breakthrough in your life. Okay, God bless you, Vincent. Uh, so the next word is for Alloware. Alloware, you remember years ago, I, I prayed for you and I saw the bus. And the bus was the authority that God has given to you. That's almost like your church or your community people that God gives you to take responsibility for. You speak into their lives. You encourage them. 
And I see what happens, that the Lord now takes that bus and he brings it to the big room. And in that room is a place where everyone can uh, have community together, they can eat together, but they can also worship and they can receive the impartation of the Holy Spirit. And then I saw, see above that room um, uh, a portal of the glory of God and how he pours it out and how people get hands laid upon them and how they felt under the power of the Spirit and how the, the Lord brings revival to you. And I, I feel that the Lord says, I've given you the bus. The bus is the vehicle of ministry, but I see how he gives you the facility, the room also where the ministry can happen. Amen. This next word is for Lucy. The Lord shows me how he is sheltering you. He says you do not need to be relevant with the world, what the world is talking about, what the what the world is wanting us to, to speak about. The Lord is saying, I want you to be to be relevant in my word, to speak about my word. To be under, they, they call it like, are, are you living under a rock? And the Lord says, I want you to live under that rock that you don't know what's happening in the world because you don't, you're not worried about what, what they are, what they are trying to push onto people. But you believe the word of God and you believe the people that he has placed in your life to mentor you. The Lord is giving you a, a, a platform to speak on his word. And that is where he wants you to live in his world, in his economy, in his almost media that the that how the media is like um forcing things on people and the lord says that i want you to start speaking out um on media about about him and about his word be blessed okay uh lucy uh i just see shackles falling off of you and the other lord is just setting you free it's giving you confidence to be that woman who he has called you to be and to have confidence uh and to to um, not be silent, but to speak out, to be like a, a loudspeaker that you plug in and it starts to make music. And so I just feel that the Lord says that uh, where you feel a little bottled up or frustrate, frustrated, the Lord is just unplugging you so that the, the life can flow out of you. You're actually a very joyful, creative, spunky person. And I just see how the Lord unblocks that so it can flow. God bless you. All right, so Anna Mary. The Lord shows me you on a moving bus and on the moving bus is your luggage. And so you're moving from a very dry place in this moving bus and then you draw, you you move to a new place. But when you come there, he says, well, this feels like the same as the previous place. I hope this is not going to be a dry place. But this new place where God bring you has a well and that well is full of the glory and the anointing of God. And so the Lord is bringing you to a new place where you're going to be able to be like that tree that's planted next to the well. Now, here where we live, uh, it's it's quite a dry place, but we got a river going past. And although you might drive in areas where it looks like a desert, everywhere by the river, everything is green, mm -hmm. beautiful, massive, lush green trees growing there. And I just see that's the same thing that the Lord is doing. He's planting you next to a river. God bless you. Thank you, Anna. Please leave us a comment. Thanks for it. It's for Yannin. The Lord shows me how there's a promised land waiting for you. And the Lord doesn't want you to, to choose to, I, I, I'm too scared to take this step. The Lord says, I want you to take this step into this new territory. The Lord says that I go before you. And and I hear and I hear how you're saying, Lord, I, I'm not sure. Are you there? He says, I am there. He doesn't want you to wait 40 years before you can get into this promised land because it will still be there no matter how long you wait because this is this is a, a plan that the Lord has for you and He doesn't want you to, to delay on it. But He says, be at peace, my daughter, because I will be with you. And even even where you are now, He wants you to receive His peace and, and, and release frustration and stress because that is not your portion. Be blessed. So, Yanin, I see a lot of creativity out of you, uh, how you are good at writing. Um, and I also felt you a little bit of a light bloomer. And so I saw um, when you're 24 years old, so I believe your mom said you're 21 now. When you're 24 years old, I see you just launching. And so the Lord says, you don't have to launch today. Yeah. In your head, you say, oh, I should have launched already. But you don't have to, to worry about launching. You know, 
most people that are in their 40s like me, they're still thinking, when am I going to launch? You know, so I just want to say there's no pressure, no expectation. Yes. Just rest, grow, learn, do your thing and get that, that training that you need to get. And then I see in, uh, in when you're 20, 20, uh, when you're 24 years old, that's three years from now, how you launch. And so the Lord is very proud of you, loves you very, very much. Um, all right, thank, uh, thank you, Yanin. Okay, so uh, Zion, uh, the Lord's give me the word double portion. And I felt that the Lord says, just like uh, 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 Yanin, maybe it's going to take a little bit of time before she bloom like a late bloomer. I just felt that the Lord says, you're just going to go, 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 go. And you're not going to lose momentum. And you know, sometimes we get these opportunities where we can take a year of our life or we can go and do this or do that and i just felt that the lord says don't do any of that stuff it's gonna waste your time you got momentum just keep going keep moving keep working and, you, and you're gonna see how the lord is gonna bolt you you know when when someone uh, goes to the gym and they train then it's like really they they get into a rhythm and they get into an eating pattern into a sleeping pattern into an exercise pattern and they build muscle they get stronger uh, and they have momentum and so the trick is just not to give up and i just felt that the lord says uh, to you uh, zion don't give up keep going keep going don't allow distractions to come into your life i'm putting a double portion of my blessing and of my anointing on your life and so we uh, janine had to kind of be like the forerunner and she had to open up doors for you you can just run through those doors and you can get all those things for free that she had to fight for so hard and i just see the blessing of god upon your life god bless you Amen, Zian. Please leave us a comment that we can know that you got your word. Um, this next word is for Rena. The Lord shows me how he is he has uh, fanned in you a hunger for the truth, for his truth, because he is the truth, the way, and the life. And the Lord shows me how he's leading you on that path to, to find his truth. The Lord shows me how he's going to open new revelation to you, um, things that you might not have ever heard of. And I hear how the that the Lord is going to build off of this new revelation, something new inside of you that he wants you to release. The Lord shows me how he's first um, revealing it to you, that you can reveal it to others in, in the future. But right now, receive it for you, this new revelation, and, and for his glory. Then you can start activating it in other people's lives. Be blessed. Hey, Rina, God bless you. All right, so uh, the next word is for Aneri. Okay, so now, Andri, I always tell the guys when I do give them prophetic training, I don't want you to prophesy from movies. I want you to rather <laughs> prophesy from the scriptures because I, we had a few people, they would always just tell what they saw in a movie and uh, because that's what they see. Yeah. And of course, when your mind is full I of... I was like that. Yeah, <laughs> if, if, you're, if your uh, brain is full of movies mm -hmm. and you've just watched movies and you didn't read a lot of Bibles, then the Holy Spirit, has, yeah, that's the only treasures He's got available to use uh, to be able to speak exactly. to someone else. And you know, the Holy Spirit will use all the treasures that's on the inside of us uh, to use that uh, as reference uh, anchors to be able to minister to someone. So now, now I'm going to give you a movie scene. So I'm breaking my own rule here today. So years ago, there was this movie. Um, I think it came out even before the kids were born. Uh, it's, it's called uh, Shrek. It's like a, a, a green ogre guy. Anyway, but in that movie, there's a part where he uh, has earwax in his ear. And then he wiggles it out. And then he takes the earwax, he puts it on the table and he lights it. And then it's like his, his candle. Okay? And so then what, what happened? I saw how God tries to speak to you. But you had this earwax uh, in your ear. And you couldn't hear what the Lord was speaking to you. And just like little uh, Samuel uh, in the Bible. Uh, in, in 1 Samuel where he's, uh, you know, um, Hannah's boy. Um, he was there with uh, Eli the high, uh, the high priest. And the Lord would speak to him and he didn't realize it was God speaking to him. And he went three times to Eli and then finally figured out, but it's actually God speaking to him. And so he heard the, the Lord's voice. So I see how the Lord is taking that earwax out of your ear. And then, you know, of course, in the strict movie, he lights it up. And so that that what actually stopped him from hearing is now the light that gives him revelation. <laughs> and I felt that the Lord says, it's going to be so much revelation. Now, I don't know if you like to read Bible, but, you know, when you take a physical 
paper Bible and you read and you mark it up, you'll see how the Holy Spirit starts speaking to you. And what happens to me sometimes, I see a word and I pray in tongues and then the Lord just opens up the heavenly realms and He starts showing me all kinds of stuff. And I just see a lot of that that same pattern is going to come into your life where the Lord is going to speak to you and it's going to give you amazing revelation. Hey Amen, Anna, you got the best of both worlds. You got a movie <laughs> and Bible. So please leave us a comment. This next word is for Quincho. 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 Uh, Quincho, the Lord shows me how he's opening up this, this, this treasure box. And the Lord says that that is you, that he is opening you up to like release. He says, I want you to release these treasures within you. And I see how as you release the treasures that you do not, you do not feel this lack of, of, oh, I'm running on empty. I'm burning out, but you are releasing the glory of God. That is the treasure, the glory that lives within you. And you decide to release it. That is a treasure that you are releasing. And when you release that treasure, the Lord shows me how, how he gives you more, how when you release, it is like a tap that is connected into, into the ground, into a well that will just continue to flow, that, ne that does not know drought. The Lord does not know drought. The Lord does not know... Um, does not know hardships as we know because he is above everything and the lord says connect to that release my glory and see and and, and see the the and know that there is a well within you because he lives within you be blessed okay, so Quinto, uh, i i see you ice fishing now i remember uh, years ago i was in minneapolis uh, actually in saint paul uh, in uh, minnesota uh, and it was in the winter and they would cut a hole in the uh, ice on the lake and then they would put their tent over the hole and they would park the car right next to it so now in the middle of the lake and then they would sit and they would throw their line in this hole that they made in the ice and then they would, they would catch salmon all right so that, that was quite strange to me how you sit in your tent and you got your little uh, a gas burner heater thing is sitting there and you cooking your coffee and you sit there and you f fish in your tent uh, but that's what they did and they catch beautiful salmons and they were wonderful to eat and uh, beautiful uh, tasty right uh, and i felt that the lord says that there is very specific fish in the kingdom of god that's people like oh, like those big old f uh, salmons as people that the Lord is targeting and says, I want that person to come into the kingdom of God because that's going to be a voice for me. Yeah. That's going to be someone that I'm going to use in a mighty way. And so you need to have a very specific bait. You need to have your line. You, you have to cut the hole in the ice. So it's, it's, it's quite a job to catch that salmon. And I felt that the Lord says, he's going to make you a fisher of men. But you're not going to be the one that throws in a net and you get the 10 small little fish that you caught in a net. And that's the ones. You're going you're gonna to go for that big old uh, salmon fish or uh, a specific one that the Lord is choosing. The Lord is going to say, I want you to go to this one. So uh, I remember, I think it is in uh, Acts chapter 9, uh, there's the story about Paul, uh, and he was on his way to Damascus, and then he, uh, Jesus appeared to him, and he was blind for three days. And then the Lord said to Ananias, I want you to go to Paul, and I want you to pray for him, and fill him up with the Holy Spirit, uh, and, and also pray for him that he can see. And so then Ananias, so Jesus, but... Do you, don't you, do you know who this guy is? He puts people in, in prison. Uh, and then the Lord said, No, take courage, go and pray for him. And he went and he prayed for him. And then, of course, his eyes opened, scales fall off him. He was filled with the Holy Spirit. And his whole life changed. But the Lord used Ananias. And I felt, uh, Quinzo, that the Lord, Quincho, no, that the Lord is using you like Ananias to go and pray for key people that is going to come into the kingdom of God. The Lord loves you very, very much. And it's a very strong anointing, a call of God upon your life. You're going to see how the Lord, uh, while you're younger, is going to give you specific missions, but then he's going to use you more and more and more. And he's just going to expand uh, your um ministry uh, if you th think about a hot air balloon like how you put more and more hot air the more that the whole balloon goes up and later it goes up and i just see that's what's going to happen also in your ministry hey right, family uh, we ministered to 10 people today uh, it was uh, fun for us uh, we had a very very long day today we 
first went to Living Word Church. We had ministry. Uh, we baptized uh, 12 people in water. Uh, people got saved. Uh, uh, and then um, it was just a, a very eventful day. Uh, and then I slept this afternoon. So uh, I'm still healing. So the doctor said to me, I'm supposed to sleep a lot, so I did sleep this afternoon, and so then uh, and now it's already at, uh, already late in the evening, <laughs> and now, uh, yeah, now Kimmy is actually supposed to go and sleep, and I was supposed to go and sleep, and then I said to her, let's just quickly sit and uh, minister to 10 people, because I made this commitment to the Lord, I said, Lord, I will minister every day to 10 people, so tomorrow we will make sure that we do this earlier, yeah. uh, but uh, we love each one of you, if you would like to receive a word, uh, write it in the comments, if you want to support Unity with Heaven, you can subscribe, you can sign up to our newsletter. Uh, and also, if you want to give money, you can hit that PayPal link, you can support, you can do anything you want. We love you, we appreciate you. Uh, tomorrow, I'll look through all the comments, and uh, if they stay names again, then we'll minister to them again. We'll also be live tomorrow evening, 6 o'clock South African time. So if you want to come for the live, you'll see there will be more people here ministering. Then you can also receive ministry in that way. The Lord loves you very, very much. God bless you.